I think. Thank you all for having me here. I actually have never attended the Leadership Week since I know the program, so I was a bit surprised, but also honored to be on the panel. And I'm excited to tell you all about the role that the arts and cultural industry plays in our community. Um, I think it was a good place that, for me to come right from Michael since my discussion is not controversial. Hopefully it will make you happy and will make you feel entertained. So, um, but I want to tell you that uh, since I've been involved with the Arts Council for the last few years, I have been impressed and even at times surprised at the important role that the arts community has in both our economy and then also just on what everybody assumes with arts, the enhancement to um, the quality of life that we hear. Have here. Um, I want to take the first um, factor first, the impact that we have on the economy, because that's something that, you know, as I talk with my friends and my family, folks don't always know all that much about what the arts does in our community. And I can tell you, in a nutshell, the arts, they mean business. Mm -hmm. Studies show that from the largest metropolitan cities all the way down to the smallest rural communities, the arts drive um, business development, they attract audiences, they support jobs, and they generate government revenue. And in fact, here in Forsyth County last year, more than two million people attended cultural and arts events here in Salem, Forsyth County. And as a result, our own, our own local arts industry contributed $56 million in annual spending. Moreover, our hotels, our restaurants, and our retail operations generated an additional $48 million in revenue because of the patrons. It's a $103 million industry here in Forsyth County. Um, I find that amazing and just fabulous and I'm happy to be involved in it. Because of the $103 million industry that the arts and cultural industry has, we also generate almost 3,800 jobs in the Salem Forsyth County. That makes the arts industry one of the top 10 employers in the county. We also generate more than $70 million in household income. $10 million in government revenue. That money obviously comes back into our community to fuel things such as police and fire protection, <coughs> our school system, and our, our roads. That's what the arts are currently doing. In fact, I can tell you that those numbers are based on 2005, um, uh, 2005 survey. Um, as you all can imagine, based on the improvements that we've seen downtown and the more exciting and more multiple opportunities that we have, I would expect that if the survey was done again, those numbers would be higher today. So that's what we're currently doing. But in addition to that, the Arts and the Arts Council specifically, and the arts industry in general, is very engaged in the future of our community. And in part, or, or mostly through making sure that our quality of life is enhanced today. As Don Flo mentioned, we need to somehow figure out how to get at least 30,000 new jobs in our community. And those need to be high paying jobs. The question is where are those folks going to come from and why are they going to come to Winston-Salem versus someplace else? And they're going to come here if Winston-Salem is a desirable place to live. And that's what the arts and the culture industry can do. Um, in fact, the Arts Council is taking a leadership role of several initiatives along with many other wonderful organizations in town, such as you know, working with the downtown revitalization, the branding of our community, supporting our cultural resources. And I can give you three concrete examples of what the Arts Council in particular is doing to make sure that our community is desirable and a place to both recruit and retain people to get them to move here and to stay here and raise their families. Um, one of the main things that the Arts Council does is that we give away money. Through our grants, we, um, in fact, last year we gave away $1.7 million. If y'all come to our annual meeting on October 28th, you can hear about how much money we're going to give away this year. But last year we gave away $1.7 million. And that money goes to make sure that there's a wide variety of high quality cultural entertainment options in our community. And that's from everything from the opera and the symphony to the galleries downtown to the bands that are playing in the garage. So whatever you want arts to be, it's here and it's made possible because of the arts and cultural industry. The second um, concrete example I can give you is probably the one that's most obvious for folks who go downtown is the renovation of the Sawtooth building. It's the new downtown center for the arts. When that building is completed next fall, um, it will provide much needed performance space, meeting space, and event space. And as an aside, please tell you that that project is on budget <laughs> and also on time. And it's also important. Approximately 
seven, 70 people employed on that construction site. And in about two years after the facility is up and running, in, in the next two years, we anticipate that through the Arts Council and the South Youth School, through its expansion, we will be employing an additional 24 full-time people and approximately 50 part-time people in that facility because of the good deeds that the community has done through the arts industry. The third concrete example I can give you in terms of what the arts industry and the arts council is doing to ensure that our future is bright is the impact, the intentional impact that we're making on our community's children. Um, studies have shown that the arts positively impact young people, and they do that by teaching critical thinking skills. They improve the motivation to learn, and they create a positive school environment. And they also enhance core academic skills. For example, dance and music have been shown to improve contextual associations which are needed with reading comprehension. Drama improves literacy. If you can't read, you can't be in a play because you can't understand what the script says. And for me, what I find most interesting, music develops spatial and temporal reasoning, the skills that are necessary for higher math. You get that from music. There's a reason why pregnant mothers play music to their, their babies in the womb. And in fact, the college board has found that students who have at least four years of arts education tend to, do, tend to score 100 points higher on their SATs than students who don't. The arts are important in education, and the Arts Council and our arts <coughs> are making sure that this happens. In fact, one of the more exciting programs that we're currently working on is a collaborative project with the Arts Council the United Way, Winston-Salem Foundation, um, the Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools, Forsyth Tech, and my firm, Kilpatrick Stockton, to investigate ways in which we can develop an after-school arts-based program to get kids who are at risk of not graduating from high school engaged in school, excited about school and graduating. I can tell you the arts play an important role in our community today, and the future looks bright and entertaining. Now that woman who issued the dare. Mm -hmm.